Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be sharing 50 plus amazing tips and tricks to customize your brand new and shiny Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. This is a fantastic phone, and I want to make sure you maximize your ownership. So let's dive in and get started right away. Now, if you're looking to buy the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, there's going to be links down below to the best pricing and best incentive. Now the very first thing that you want to do quickly is you want to go to your settings, you want to go all the way down and you want to go to battery and device care, you want to tap on it. Once you're there, go down and click on diagnostics. When you click this for the first time, it is going to launch a Samsung members application. It might ask you to log in, but if not, it's going to dump right here. So the very first thing that I want everybody to do is to make sure your battery in your brand new phone is in good condition. So what you can do is you can tap on the battery status. All right. It's going to check the battery. And what you want to see is you want to see that normal status right here. And the life should say good. So that means the battery is working normally. And if you see anything here that doesn't match what I have here on your new phone, you want to return that and replace it. So in this scenario, the battery is working normally. Now, when you go back to that main screen, you can actually check, let me just tap on no, uh, every single component of your phone here one by one to make sure all the functions of your phone are running properly, okay? But for me, the battery is the most important, okay? Because if the battery is faulty, the phone is useless. Now, the next thing that you wanna do is you wanna go to your settings, all right? You want to go all the way down again. You want to go to about phone. And what you want to do is you want to tap on this button here that says edit. And you want to give your name. You want to give your phone a proper name. So it says here HS22 Ultra. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do Saki 22 Ultra. Okay. So your phone is going to be recognized by other devices using this name and you are going to be able to identify it even better. As you can see, there's a description here that tells you why this is good. Also, it is a great way to personalize your phone and make it yours. Now, the next feature I want to share has to do with the S Pen. This is going to be a fantastic little trick, and this is great for people that are going to be using their calendars all the time. So basically, what you do is you can either launch the calendar application, okay? Let me launch it. And what you are going to see on the top is a pen symbol. When you click on this, you are able to write directly on your calendar. So it's almost like writing on a piece of paper. And you can zoom in, okay? And you can put little details. Maybe this is somebody's birthday or whatever. You can make your own list on a given date. You can zoom it back out. When you click save, okay? those are going to appear, those marks you made are going to appear on your calendar. So fantastic little tactic with the S Pen. Now you can do the same thing by bringing the pen close to the screen. Don't touch the screen. Press the button on the S Pen and then click on plus here. Okay. And what you can do is you can add this option to your S Pen menu, right or on calendar. So let me just tap it. It's going to pop right there. Now I'm going to exit, okay? Now when I click that button, you see the right on calendar option. You click on it, and the calendar comes right up, ready to be written on, all right? As you can see, uh, I can even change the color so I can color code everything as I need. Perfect, beautiful feature. Let's move on. Now one more thing I want to talk about with the S Pen is you can use the S Pen as a remote control to control your device wirelessly. So if I go to my settings and if I go to advanced features, if I go to S Pen on the top, you've got the air actions. When you tap on these guys, look at all the things you can do with the pen wirelessly. So, so the base one is this one, hold down the pen button two. So if I press and hold this guy, it launches the camera, okay? On top of that, if I wanna take a photo with the camera, I can, again, press the button, it takes a photo. So that is just fantastic. So look at this, air actions, go down over here, choose what happens when you perform air actions in the apps below. So in the camera, I tap on it, okay? So single press takes photo or video, double press switches the cameras, and then you have all the gestures you can use right here. 
So again, I can launch the camera. Okay, now I can press this and I can take a photo. It just took a photo. It's doing a night mode photo because the phone is sitting flat. So it just took a photo. If I'm in the video mode, it can start to record a video. Look, beautiful wireless uh, capabilities. And you can do this with many applications. I like to use it for the camera, but you can come and look here at every possible option. All right, let's move on. Now the next feature has to do with the camera. So launch the camera. And I do want to let you know your phone comes with one of the most powerful cameras on the market, possibly the best. So when you launch it for the very first time, uh, let me just show you, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see the photo and you're going to see these settings. What you want to do if you want to take photos with the most possible detail, you want to press this button here that says 3-4 and you want to choose 108, 108 megapixels. And what that is going to allow you to do is going to actually use 108 megapixels to capture a photo. That means you're going to have great detail. Now, when you tap on this and you use the three by four, the regular three by four, it's still going to be a gorgeous photo, but the 108 megapixel is going to be a larger file size and you're going to be able to capture much more detail. And if you press this button, which gets enabled after you choose this button, you can turn on and off the detail enhancer mode. If you turn that on and you take a photo, you're going to get even more detailed photos. This is fantastic and use it intelligently uh, for photos. Maybe you want to print and put on your wall. You can get that extra detail. Okay. If you're going to be using photos for social media uh, and stuff like that, just for your phone or sending it to your friends, you're okay with this. No problem. If you want to print something, you can use 108 megapixels. All right, let's move on. I want to quickly talk about the display. We have some new features in the display category. So if I go to display, you know about the adaptive refresh rate, this one right here. So right now we have the adaptive rate instead of the standard rate. 60 Hertz is going to save you some battery life, but it's not going to be as smooth as the adaptive. So I recommend you choose adaptive, but also when you go back here and you scroll down, you are going to see that when you have the adaptive refresh rate with the S22 Ultra, you can also have the highest possible resolution. But previously you could only have this one and the adaptive rate. Now you can have this one sharpest visuals with the maximum refresh rate together. Okay. So it is an option, but it's going to use more battery just so you know, but if you want maximum satisfaction, you can do that and you can adjust it later. If you think your battery is dying too early, it's all based on your needs. Another thing is when you disable adaptive brightness, some people keep this on. So this thing adjusts all by itself based on the need. So if you go outside, the phone gets brighter automatically. So I like to turn that off and just keep it in the middle somewhere for my general use. But you also have this extra brightness option. You can tap it anytime and it's just going to give you that extra boost of brightness, especially if you're outside and you have maximized your brightness and you cannot see your phone, which I doubt. If you cannot though, you can tap this. It's going to give you a little boost. So you're going to be able to better see your phone in direct sunlight. Now, the next thing I want to be talking about has to do with some motions and gestures. So when you go to your settings, if you scroll down and you go into your advanced features, you want to take a look at this menu and configure it properly. Motions and gestures, you tap on it. And basically you want to enable a bunch of these features. I enable this, this, and this. So double tap to turn on screen and off screen. Look at this, double tap, turn off screen, double tap, turn on screen. Okay. And then if the phone is turned on, and you just want to glance at it. You can pick it up. It's called lift awake. It is going to turn on. You can look at to see if you have any messages. And then if nothing special, you put it down, you move on. So that's the lift to wake feature that I like to enable under motions and gestures. Another thing I love to activate is this one right here. It says mute with gestures. So you can do two things. Let's say you have an alarm that goes off or somebody calls you and you want to mute that alarm or call, you can do two things. You can either put your hand over the screen and that's going to mute that notification or 
Let's say somebody's calling you, you just put the phone on the table like this and it is going to mute that call as well. So fantastic little features and also quickly want to mention this one. It says palm swipe to capture. If you want to take a screenshot, all you have to do is this. It takes a screenshot as you just saw and then you can look at that screenshot in your gallery, save it, edit it, whatever. Okay, so anytime, anywhere, you can palm swipe to capture end to end and you're going to be good to go the next thing you want to take a look at right here which is very important is the side key so that's the power button it is fully customizable by default you can double tap this it launches the camera some people love that some people like to customize it you go to open app and you pick any app that you want here so if i have the calculator application now when i double tap this it launches calculator so I have a quick access to my calculator if I use it all the time one thing I truly love is if you go back in here okay on settings you can have the flashlight so now when I press and hold it turns on the flashlight and I can use that anytime even when the screen is turned off so customize that and then you can do the press and hold press and hold I like to do power off menu so when you press and hold it just brings up the power off menu restart power off whatever i don't like to use bixby anymore so boom power off menu so customize that to your needs as well so the next setting you want to change has to do with your media consumption you want to get the best possible experience when you're watching movies or listening to music so what you want to do is you want to go to your settings the first thing you want to do for music is go to sounds and vibration go all the way down tap on sound quality and effects and simply enable dolby atmos which is going to give you great experience and a surround sound like experience once you turn this on you can see you can go for a movie mode music mode or a voice mode depending on what you're listening to so i just leave it on auto and the phone picks for itself but you can do it manually so when you're watching a movie boom make sure you enable that you're going to love the way that movie sounds from the built-in speakers now when it comes to video you want to go back you want to go to advanced features okay tap on it go all the way down and go to video video bright go to video brightness and enable bright mode so you can see nothing happened when i tapped on it this is not going to get bright but when you launch any kind of video player application netflix youtube video player whatever you install they're going to show up right here every time you launch those applications you are going to get a boost in the screen brightness and colors as you can see so the videos are going to look more lively so it's another way to enhance your watching experience and you can individually enable or disable it for specific applications remember this only gets activated when you launch the specific supported applications so that's great it doesn't eat battery for no reason all right let's move on now one more thing you can do is when you launch your phone application you can customize the way it looks when somebody calls you so you want to launch it you want to tap on the settings you want to go to settings okay and then you want to go to call background okay now first you can pick a layout so you can pick a layout like this looks a little bit different or if i tap on layout now it looks a little bit different looks bigger you get a picture but the background is the fun part so when somebody calls you you can have these effects in the back as you can see just makes your phone look a little bit cooler all right or this one right here as you can see or you can do a video and the best part is you can actually click on plus and pick a video that you yourself recorded with your phone and have it in the background you tap on plus it says select from gallery you pick a video boom you're good to go all righty fantastic now on the home screen when you pinch the screen just like this and you swipe over you have the option to enable this screen on and off it's up to you if you turn this off nothing's going to happen when you go this way but if you pinch turn this on you can either choose google discover or samsung freight i prefer google discover and look at this now when i go over i actually get a feed of everything that is relevant to my interests as usual all right so you can turn this on and off it's up to you now another thing i like to do is i like to pinch the screen or press and hold on the screen go to my settings and then i want to scroll down a little bit 
and I enable this function, swipe down for notification panel. So normally you have to go all the way up here to pull this thing down. With that option, you can just pull anywhere and it's gonna bring down the notification panel. And then when you swipe up, it goes to your app drawer, which is great. One more thing with the home screen, look at this. Let's say I wanna move apps around Every other phone on the market, you have to grab each application and move it around one by one, which is a waste of time. So with the Samsung phones, you can press and hold, tap on select, and select all the applications you want to move at the same time, then press and hold, and just drag and drop and dump it anywhere that you want. This is fantastic. So again, press and hold, select, select anything that you want to move, grab, Look at this, so easy to customize your home screens and move things around. Now, one more cool thing is if you go to your settings and if you go all the way down into your fingerprints under biometrics and security, let's tap on this. It's gonna ask you to put your password in. And once you do that, right now, I only have one finger registered. If I wanna add more, I can tap here. But once you add a finger, the default name is fingerprint one and two and three and four. So what I like to do is simply tap on it and rename it. So this is my index finger left. So I'm gonna say L, I. So now when I come back to manage the fingerprints, at least I can know exactly what this is. And if you don't rename and you forget, you tap on check added fingerprints, you scan it, it tells you, look, it says LI is the one. This is the LI. So if I had my other finger set up, it would tell me exactly which finger is which name, and you can rename them at that time. So fantastic. Let's move on. The next thing that you want to modify is when you get a text message, you will get notified, but the Samsung phones have a nice edge lighting feature that lights the edges of the phone. So you go to your settings, and then you go over to your notifications, and then you wanna make sure you have the brief pop-up enabled here, okay? Or detail is gonna kill all the settings. Brief, you go to brief pop-up settings and you get the edge lighting style. You tap on it and look at this. You can pick from all these various styles. Let me just make it a little bit more visible here. Color, let's do yellow. Let me just make that a little wide so you can see. So look at that. So every time you get a text message, somebody calls you, any notification, Boom, you get to see these cool effects and you can change these. Look at that. You can have some like this, little hearts, eclipse. Boom, you're going to see this effect on the top. Fireworks, beautiful, all righty. And you can customize them as you can see. The size, duration, transparency, and the color. Fantastic. Let's move on. Now, one more thing I like to do with my phone is when you lock the phone, I like to customize my lock screen by putting a signature in the front. So look at this. Go to your settings, go to lock screen, all right, and then simply go where it says contact information and write anything that you want. You can have a quote, your name, whatever. Okay, so I'm going to just say Saki Tech for now. Look at what happens. Now my phone is customized. It's got my name on it, my channel name, Saki Tech. Additionally, look at these options at the bottom here. These are quick shortcuts. So I got this call. I can launch my uh, phone from here or I can launch my camera from here. But the great news is you can customize these options. So again, go back into your settings, go to lock screen, all the way down, go to shortcuts, okay, and pick the shortcuts that you want. So look at this, calculator, now when I go back out, lock the screen, boom, boom, I can quickly access my calculator from my lock screen. Fantastic. Additionally, if you don't like it, you can go back there and just disable the shortcuts, okay? Fully, look, now they're not gonna be there. So you have a nice, clean screen. It's all up to you. Maybe you're a minimalist, right? So let's go back. And the final thing in the lock screen that's very nice is, let me just turn off this stuff. Look at this, if I tap on the clock, it expands, gives me a bunch of widgets. All these widgets are customizable. Let me show you. So, so go inside, go to settings, go to lock screen, and then go to widgets. And look at this. I can have the weather widget, today's schedule. Let me turn off the Bixby routines. 
and then I can tap on reorder and I can have the one that I want on the top to show up on the top so now when I go outside look at this weather music player if you're playing music you're going to see a player here calendar alarms beautiful fantastic let's move on now when you go to your settings and when you go into your battery and device care when you tap here you can always click on optimize now to optimize your phone for best performance I do this once or twice a day just to keep the phone running optimally but instead of coming in here what I do is I have a widget on my screen that does it simply by tapping here okay the same thing I did by going to the menu I can do it right here so if you want this widget pinch the screen tap on widgets scroll down go to device care and just grab the size that you want you can have this one or this one they do the same thing this shows you a little bit extra information grab it drag and drop it put it anywhere you want you can see your storage your current memory usage and then you can tap here every single time on this button and it's going to optimize that phone okay you don't want two of these guys so I'm gonna take one of these guys off so do this have this on your screen just swipe over boom and it's gonna refresh your phone so to speak alright so those were a bunch of powerful settings to customize your phone to your needs if you have any questions comments or concerns drop them down below and let me know for now guys have a fantastic day alright